the engine is cold, unscrew the cap from expansion tank. Using the dedicated tools, move the hose clamps around the hoses. Put the workshop recovery tray. Drain the coolant. For the purpose of this movie, we drained the coolant before. Remove the upper engine cover. Unscrew the top of the air filter housing. Remove the vacuum hose from the air inlet tube. Disconnect the mass airflow electrical connector. Loosen the clamp behind the mass airflow. Remove the upper part of the filter housing with the pipe and the flow meter. Remove the air filter from the housing. Remove the air intake to the filter housing. Remove the bottom part of the air filter housing. Disconnect the battery clamps in the correct order. Bring out the battery. Unscrew the three screws from the battery base. Remove battery base. Remove the turbo intercooler air tube. To do this, loosen the clamps at the height of the engine block. Remove the fastening screws of the tube to the bracket. Loosen the clamp on the air tube on the intercooler. Remove another fastening screws from the bottom of the air tube. Remove the air pipe from the intercooler stub pipe. Check if you unscrew everything. Remove the air inlet tube completely. Carry out the same operation with the second air tube. Disconnect the water pump electrical connector plug. Unscrew the bolt from the bracket. Disassemble the auxiliary water pump together with the bracket. Locate the water hose that runs from the four-way valve around to the right side of the engine. Remove the screws, the first on the side of the engine block, the second on the corner from the front of the engine. Remove the available water hose from the four-way valve. On the other side of the engine, remove the bolt fastening the fuel filter hanger. Lift the fuel filter and place it safely to the side. Remove the screw securing the four-way valve housing to the engine block. Remove the valve from the hole in the block. Install the new valve with the new o-ring in its place. Reassemble all parts in reverse order.
pour new coolant into the expansion tank to top mark level. Screw the cap on the extension tank. Follow the venting procedure carefully. Start the engine and keep it running at 2000 RPMs for approximately 3 minutes. Let the engine idle until the fan turns on. Fill up with coolant as needed. 